iPod Touch Fork Generation or a modern budget smartphone? Hey guys, what is up? This is Luke, and let's find out which is better. So, the iPod Fork Generation has an A4 chip with approximately 800 megahertz, a single core processor, 930 milliamp power battery, 640 by 920 LCD display, and it's rocking a 0.7 megapixel back camera. On the other hand, we have the LG Optimus Fuel. This has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, 1,700 milliamp power battery, 320 by 480 display, and a 3 megapixel back camera. After taking a survey earlier this week, these were the results I came up with. So now that you know the specs and a little bit about each of the products, let's actually do some tests. So the first test I'm going to do is power up speed. So here we have the LG Optimus Fuel versus the iPod 4th generation. And go. So as you can see, as for startup, the Android Modern Phone won this time. Alright, so now that each of them are powered up and running, let's see which one loads a more graphic intensive game. So whoever can get to the start screen faster wins this competition. Alrighty, so once again, the Android phone takes in a lead just coming a few milliseconds behind on loading of a more graphic intensive game than Ways to Die 2. The third test I'm going to go through is an average speed test for a high dev video. And I'm going to see which one glitches out and has a loading screen the least on an average Wi-Fi network. So anyway, I don't know about you guys on the other end, but I did not see one stutter out of either one of them until I put them out of the range of loading. This was amazing, I would have never expected it, but they both completely out of their full capacity for definition, they both loaded these videos perfectly online and ready to go. This was amazing, I never would have expected that. So I'm going to give both one point to each side of this match. Lastly, I'm going to be seeing which device has better picture quality on the back camera. Anyway, we've already went through the specs on the cameras, but we're actually going to see which one can take a better picture overall. Alright, so for this one, they both take pretty low quality pictures, but let's see what people have to say about either one of these. Alright, so I think by those numbers, I think definitely the Android Phone 1. And I do admit it does look, and it's a lot more vibrant color. It's a really good definition for a cheap smartphone. Even to have a camera at all, that's a good deal. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like the videos. Comment down below. And do you like this idea of polls? Let me know in the comments section. 
and I'll be sure to do more of these videos from old to new comparisons. Alright, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.